Niblet and Ralph by Zachariah Ahura. He's the author and illustrator. What do you notice right here? There's a cat paw and it looks very similar to this cat paw. Missing cat, Ralph. Lost cat, Niblet. Hmm, what do you think this story's gonna be about? Maybe some mixed up kitties. Niblet and Ralph by Zachariah Ahura. This is Gemma and Ralph. This is Dilla and Niblet. And I love Zachariah Ahura's illustrations. They're just so bold. If you guys have seen um, Good Night Veggies, he's off also the illustrator of that story. They all live in the same building. Two of them know this, but two do not. Can you guess who does know? So do you think the people know about each other? Or do you think the cats know about each other? Hmm. You guessed it, Ralph and Niblet. That's the cats. They talk together on the phone all day. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. When they run out of things to say, they share the sun. One day, Ralph found a way to visit Niblet. So he went out on the clothesline. And Niblet found a way to visit Ralph. He ran out the door. Mom, we're going to be late. Except when Niblet got to Ralph's, no one was home. I'll just wait for Ralph, he thought. When Ralph got to Niblet, nobody was home there either. He probably just stepped into the litter box, thought Ralph. What do you think is going to happen? They're hanging out at each other's apartments and nobody's home. <gasps> when Gemma came home after school, she scooped up Ralph to hug him. Is that Ralph? No, it's Niblet. But Niblet did not want to be hugged. When Dilla came home from school, he got out Niblet's favorite toy. Is that Niblet? No, it's Ralph. But Ralph did not want to play. Do you think they know they have the wrong cats? There was something not quite right about Ralph. Gemma decided to run a test. She put headphones on Ralph and played his favorite song. But Niblet hated it. This is a fake Ralph, Gemma shouted. Ralph has been cloned and replaced. Maybe he's just tired, yawned her dad. <sighs> it's time for bed. Dilla knew there was something off about Niblet, so he tried a little experiment. This is not Niblet, he shouted. Niblet loves chips and this cat does not. You think someone snuck in here and replaced Niblet with another cat? Laughed his mom. <laughs> Time for bed, Detective Dilla. Hmm. Do the parents believe the kids? No, but those kids sure know the personalities of their cats. All night, Gemma wondered what had happened to Ralph. So maybe a burglar took him, maybe some birds carried him away, maybe he's stuck in a tree. And all night, Dilla worried about what had happened to Niblet. Abducted by aliens, eaten by a dog, taken by a robot. Fake Ralph was nice enough, but Gemma missed the real Ralph. Her dad was not convinced he was gone. It was time to take matters into her own hands. Dilla liked not Niblet, but he missed the real Niblet. His mom didn't believe that Niblet was missing. It was time to investigate. So they're making those posters that we saw on the inside flap. Do you think they're going to find out what happened to their cats? Gemma looked everywhere for Ralph. Dilla did the same for Niblet until, make a prediction, what do you think is gonna happen? Dilla's not looking where he's walking, is he? Bang! I 
see their feet and posters flying everywhere. What happened? They ran into each other. They weren't watching where they were going. Not Niblet, fake Ralph. You mean fake Ralph, yelped Gemma. You mean not Niblet, asked Dilla. Finally, the mystery was solved. Back home, Dilla and Gemma met in the hallway with Niblet and Ralph. Niblet was so happy to see Dilla, he didn't mind being hugged. Niblet! Ralph was so happy to see Gemma, he leaped straight into her arms. Gemma and her dad invited everyone for dinner. Ralph! Now everyone was where they belonged. Together. Found! So Niblet and Ralph, this was just a case of mistaken identity. The kids thought that it was their cats and then they realized this is not my cat.